Ang father mo Chinese. Opo. Yung yung sister mo, di Chinese. Ah, uh, nag nag nung nagpakasal po siya, naging Pilipina po siya kasi nagpakasal siya sa Pilipino. So, yung sister mo ay Chinese. Chinese po siya nung pinanganak, pero nung nagpakasal po siya, nakapagpalit siya to Pilipino. Dahil Pilipino po yung pinakasalan niya. Kilala mo si Kai Jiru? Yan po yung nanay ko ngayon. Ito yung na, totoong nanay ng kapatid ko. Ng kapatid mo. Opo. But it's not your real biological mother. Not Kasi po. yung mother mo, si Maria Luisa Picay. Opo. Si Kai Jiru is also known as what? Lulu Chua. So, Lulu Chua rin siya. So, incorporator din siya ng yatay. Hindi po sigurado. <laughs> kasi base sa... Kasi yung Kai Jiru, I think may, director siya now. Kasi yung... Ha, may, na, nahihilo kami minsan dun sa chart. Minsan incorporator. Minsan... Da, sa updated directory na kalagay. Ikaw, bilang presidente ng Yata International. Uh, Anong... Hindi po ako presidente ng Yata International. Industrial lang po ako. Ah, Yata, Yata Industrial Park ka. Tapos, pero member ka ng board ng Yata International. Opo. Okay. Kilala mo, uh, ito si Lulu Chua or Kai Jiru. Uh, Chinese ito. Opo. So, ang father mo, Chinese. Opo. Yung yung sister mo, di Chinese. Ah, uh, nag, nag nung nagpakasal po siya, naging Pilipino po siya kasi nagpakasal siya sa Pilipino. Yung uh, Supreme Court ano. Uh, anyway, ano pa 'yon? So kasi si Kai Jiro ay Chinese, mother ni Bernice. Yes, po. At yung si Yang Wahuang, which who is your father, is also Chinese. Yes, po. So, yung sister mo ay Chinese. Chinese po siya nung pinanganak, pero nung nagpakasal po siya, nakapagpalit siya to Pilipino dahil Pilipino po yung pinakasalan niya. Yes, uh, Congressman Flores. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I just noticed that uh, you said that your biological mother is Maria Luisa Bigay, correct? Opo. And Maria Luisa Bigay is an incorporator of Yatay International together with Kai G. Ru. I'm not Ito yung nanay din mga kapatid mo. I'm not sure about that. Oh, anyway, uh, uh, minsan nagahalo po kasi yung chart. So I, I'm looking at Yatay International. No, it says here that the incorporators were Jonathan D. Carlos. You know him? Tala mo? Hindi. De. Po. Okay. Si Car uh, Maria Luisa Bigay, si Jocelyn Ting, si Yang Hua Wang, at si Kai Ji Ru. And you just testified earlier that Kai Ji Ru is the mother of your sister, and that your mother is Maria Luisa Bigay. So I'm just kind of surprised na. Both mothers uh, of different siblings, siguro were incorporators of the same corporation. Based on the document. Based on the documents. Now, Yata Industrial Park also lists uh, a Kai Jinan. Who is this Kai Jinan? Hindi ko po kilala. Hindi mo kilala. It's not related to the mother of your sibling, naman. No po. No, no. Okay. Now. Uh, you, you you testified that uh, in your letter you said that uh, Maria Luisa Bigay is your biological mother and she gave birth to you in 1992 but that you were registered three months after your birth so late registration then okay. okay your mother and your father were never married correct yes De. so you grew up with whom as a mother sino ang naging nanay mo when you grew up nung bata po ako nalala ko ng Kasama ko lang po tatay ko. Ano na? Tatay ko lang po kasama. Tatay mo lang. Okay, when did your uh, father uh, get married to Kai Jiru? 96 po. 96. So, prior to that, no one was like living with you, acting as your mother. Uh, sino na palaki sa'yo? Tatay During ko those, po. those times. Sa pagkaalala ko po, tatay sa ko Sa pagkaalala mo, tatay mo. Now, um, kasi if your father is Chinese, eh, do you know where your mother is now? Alam mo ba? Hindi po. So, you never met her? Hindi mo na never sent? Hindi po. Never had pictures with her? No po. Never. So, after giving birth to you, ah, ikaw lang ba yung anak na ni Maria Luisa Bigay? In so, your family? Opo. Ikaw lang? Opo. How many siblings do you have? 
uh, half siblings po. Uh, half siblings, sige. May tatlo po akong half siblings. Tatlo. And all the other half siblings were uh, from the mother Kaijiru. Opo. They're all younger than you. Opo. They're all younger than you. Okay. Uh, kasi, I, I hope you understand why we're asking these questions. No? Kasi lalo na ngayon na pumutok din yung kay Mayor Alice Go. Now, when it comes to acquiring of citizenship, lalo na with uh, late registration, it has, it has become an issue. Eh? Okay. No? And I hope you understand why we're asking this question. It might be personal, but it, uh, it, the line of questioning is nothing personal din. No? I just want to find out. Kasi most of the people I know, para lang circumvent yung prohibition on the ownership of properties no? or, or in the controlling stake sa isang corporation, usually pretend that they are Filipinos and that's why we're very interested in this eh? so but you you you're saying that you are Filipino because your mother is Filipino yes sir. so all your family members were all chinese including your half siblings kasi your mother or your stepmom kai jiru is also chinese correct they're chinese until one of my sister got married and one of my sister uh do a uh, taking to change the okay decision. so what was the status of their stay all this time before they became ed- adults what? If they were Chinese citizens, how could they live in the Philippines uh, with without the being ACR. Filipino citizens? They are born here. They, they, they were born here, but they're not Filipino citizens. Eh? So that's my question. Diba? If you're born of, Filipi- of Chinese parents, even if you're born in the Philippines, does not make you a Filipino citizen. And you said that only one of your half-siblings became a Filipino citizen upon marriage. So it must have been by the age of majority na, at least 18 years of age siya. So from age 1 to 18, they were not Filipino citizens. What was their legality of the stay in the Philippines? Anong visa nila? Uh, Anong visa nila? Uh, yung may tinatawag na I-card po. Y- y- yung, yung dad mo? But, ano ang status ng dad mo? Dad ko... He's Chinese, right? Yes po. But how can he stay in the Philippines for that long? If he's Chinese, um, meron po silang pag businessman po may card na tinatawag hindi ko po kapisado ko anong card po yun. Hindi mo kapisado. Legal side. Okay, yung yung in- yung nanay mo, does she, does she, oh no, your stepmom. Meron din ba nga ganito na status? Sa pagkaalam mo? Uh, pagkaalam ko meron silang i card. So I-card. more of I think yung immigration po mga kasi okay, ko, ano paano po? yung mga kapatid mo? they were not businessmen when they grew up when they were born here di ba? from age 1 to 18 may air card din sila may air card po sila with the uh, dahil dito sila pinanganak so, dahil pa- dito sila pinanganak mm-hmm. okay, immigration nandito ba? PI? Yeah, nandiyan, nandiyan. Uh, immigration? yes, your honor uh, uh, can you enlighten me ano, sir? on on, on, on these questions that I have uh, sir if uh, the father is indeed Yang Yao Hong, he has an SIRB. And what is that? A special investor's resident uh, visa granted by the Board of Investments, Your Honor. When was it granted? Uh, I don't have the particular time, Your Honor. I was only, I only brought the copy of the latest struggle uh, record. Can, can we find out, B.I.? When when that uh, special investors visa was granted? Uh, I have to check, sir, if the SIR visa registered with the Bureau of Immigration. Okay, when, when did that this type of visa? When, when was when were these types of visa issued? Uh, I'm not particularly familiar with them, Your Honor, uh, because they're under the Department of Trade and Industry under oh. the Board of Investment. Okay, but do you think it's before 1992? Uh, I would not know, Your Honor. Probably, you Your know. Honor. Yes. Can, can we find out, na lang, please, uh, ng BI? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. Now, how about uh, Kai Jiru uh, from the Bureau of Immigration? Did the Kai Jiru also have the same uh, visa? Or the what was the status of their stay in the Philippines? Uh, if you allow me, Your Honor, I'll get back to you. I'll check. I'll just check my notes if I have the travel record. Okay. So, now, Ms. now my, my my next question would be. What about the children of uh, persons with uh, special vi- visas? What uh, would be their status? Uh, I, I think uh, Mr. Henry Bigay was talking about the native-born status since he said that his siblings, were his here. siblings were born here. Okay. Uh, if they were born here to a foreign national who is already a permanent resident in the Philippines, uh, they are given the status of a native-born. 
native born. Yes, sir. Native born alien. Yes, your honor. All right. So if they are native born alien, they can legally stay in the Philippines. Yes, your honor. So uh, uh, the the SIRP that you were mentioning, does that uh, is that the same as uh, uh, the the one you just mentioned earlier? Uh, the SIRB, Your Honor, as I've said, is given by the BOI. I, I think you need to invest a particular investor. amount with the... Uh, okay, it's an investor's visa. Investor's visa, and then you have to retain it for a certain amount, a uh, 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 certain so, period. So a person who has an investor's visa can legally stay in the Philippines, and once they have children, then their children would be considered uh, the native born uh, that you just mentioned earlier. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes, Your Honor, they would include them as dependent in their investor's visa. But uh, based on the travel records of the half siblings of Mr. Bigay, uh, uh, what is reflected in their travel records is NB, which What's stands that? for native born. Okay. So native born. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Congressman Flores. <clears throat> I have yes. your copy of the birth certificate of Mr. Henry Bigay. Uh, I'd like to share this with you. Mr. Chair. Uh, she, uh, be, uh, yes, uh, Congressman Fernandez, uh, one more question muna sa, para bago ko na ating makalibutan. Sa, sa DFA, uh, can you give us an update on the cancellation of passports ni Mr. Willie Ong, A.D. Young, and others? Uh, what does uh, Mr. Bigay, uh, anong passport mo, Mr. Bigay? Filipino po. Filipino passport. Is that uh, correct, uh, DFA? Mr. Chair, oh, yes, uh, um, uh, that's correct, sir. Uh, he was uh, issued a Philippine passport. Okay. Uh, what is now the status of the passports, Filipino passports of Mr. Willie Ong and A.D. Taiyang? Uh, as we uh, sub we submitted the report to the committee, uh, Mr. Chair, and uh, they are in the process of being uh, cancelled, Mr. Chair. Okay, so cancelled na yung Filipino passport? Um, not yet, Mr. Chair, but they are already flagged and they are in the process of being uh, cancelled, Mr. Chair. We have to go through a certain procedure, Mr. Okay. Chair, but they are already very shortly, Mr. Chair, we'll be able to report to the committee that they're being cancelled. Okay, uh, sige. Sal salamat, uh, DFA. Uh, for the Philippine Retirement Authority, uh, may we know how many retirement visas? It's PRA that issued the retirement visa, correct? Um, no, Your Honor. It's uh, the Bureau of Immigration. That so it's still the, the BID? Visa. Yes. Uh, uh, BID? Uh, I remember that uh, in the last hearing, uh, you mentioned that it was the PRA that issues the retirement visa. Is that accurate? Uh, yes, Your Honor. It is the PRA and then it is implemented by the Bureau of Immigration in the passport of the foreign national, Your Honor. Okay, so Mr. Uh, Bob, yeah. Mr. Bob, yeah. uh, we process the application, mm -hmm. and then once uh, after processing, we endorse it to the BI for approval, and then uh, once it's approved by BI, then we sticker put the sticker visa on the passport. So it's not the PRA that uh, approves they, the, the it's visa. It's the BI that makes the decision. Okay, so BID, is that accurate? Uh, in the sense, Your Honor, that the BID's job is only ministerial because the evaluation and determination if the foreign national is qualified for a retiree's visa rests on the PRA, Your Honor. Okay, so parang uh, ano lang, uh, parang uh, it's all in the hands of the PRA and when they endorse it for approval sa, sa BID, Ministerial na lang kayo? Uh, that's correct, Your Honor. Okay. So, if that's the case, uh, PRA, uh, may we know in uh, the last 12 months, how many P uh, how many retire retirement visas has been endorsed to BID? Ito na ako Mr. Sir, Sir, if I may, yeah. uh, we'll get long po. We'll check with our records. Po. Kasi, you are with PRA? Yes, po, sir. Okay. Uh, as of now, we have our records po since 1985 po, uh, when PRA uh, was constituted, po, sir. 
So as of now, sir, we have uh, 40,000. Uh, for 41,222 principal uh, uh, retirees po. 45,000? 41,222 principal retirees po. Mm-hmm. Since 1985 po. So 1985. Would you be able to tell us for the last five years na lang? Uh, we'll check with our records, sir. Uh, based on the uh, uh, data that uh, you submitted to the committee, Meron kayo dito na kasi ang question natin ilan yung Chinese no na nabigyan ng uh, retirement visa. And uh, nakita natin ang sinabit nyo no galing sa uh, PRA ito. Uh, total number of Chinese nationals issued with uh, SRRB 32,281 retiree members. Inclusive of 14,600 principal members and their dependents. What does this mean? 32,000. Ah, so ang, ang principal, 14,000. If you include the dependents, you will reach 32,000, correct? No. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And ano bang qualification para maging eligible sila for a retirement visa? First of all, they have to be... Um... 50 years old okay and then um, once they when they apply they have to submit to us a police clearance from their country of origin and the police clearance must be uh, authenticated or apostilled by the proper authorities and once they can they have that then we process the application and um, we also have access to Interpol database so we check with Interpol uh, if they have any uh, derogatory um, w- remarks or whatever and then uh, w- what we do is we endorse by, by the way they have to uh, pay a visa uh, deposit uh, bank de- a bank deposit uh, in any of our accredited banks for and how much um, is that? How much is the deposit that they should pay? The twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars for a the regular retiree. But if the retiree is receiving a pension of about eight hundred to a thousand two hundred dollars, the visa deposit becomes lower. It becomes ten thousand okay. dollars. And then once we have that certification from the bank that they have made an inward remittance for the deposit, we process the application. We endorse it to uh, Bureau of Immigration for approval. Okay. So, all the requirements will be processed by PRA. Yes. And then endorsed to, to Bureau of uh, Immigration. BID. Yes. So, do they appear before the PRA? Let's say they apply for a retirement visa. Do they appear before? Uh, yes. Yes, Your office? Honor. So, that's a requirement. Yes. They have to have a personal appearance. Okay. Their office. So, there must be some some confusion here because based on the data you submitted, the age profile of principal SRRB holders who are Chinese nationals na naka-avail nitong visang ito, eh, yung age 35 to 39, 175 Chinese. Yung age 40 to 49, 4,600 Chinese. Yes, so, uh, Your Honor. But uh, you uh, said earlier that the the age requirement is uh, 50. You know? huh? Huh? So, if it's um, a man, 35 to 39, 40 years old, considered retired? Y- several years ago, uh, the minimum requirement, age requirement, was lowered to 35. Then in 2021, raised it because of the proliferation of the pogo problems and things like that uh, it was raised again to 50 is there a memorandum uh, who uh, you know yeah. this yes. cannot just yes. be done by the head of the PRA right? no no so we didn't do it ourselves there must be some administrative uh, order or, yes uh, so can yeah. you provide the committee we will provide especially specifically on the change of the age because uh, to me 
35 years old to 39 years old, hindi pa retired yun. Malakas pa katawan nun eh. Di ba? Yeah. Pag sinayang mong retire, you retired na talaga. Di yeah. ba? Just like uh, Congressman Dan Fernandez. Malakas pa pangangatawan. Yan ang ibig sabihin. So, uh, my, my point being, uh, uh, Your Honors, is that I think one uh, area also where the Chinese are abusing our government uh, policies and government agencies is the issuance of this kind of visa to them. Wala pang 50 anos, considered retired. Just because 20,000 lang ang babayaran. All the members of the Communist Party of the Ch of China can afford to pay $20,000. And they can come here anytime. We will yeah. provide you the document. Would you know who lowered the, the age requirement, uh, Mr. Sozo Brado? I, I have to check because I wasn't there yet. I wasn't here yet. <laughs> ah, okay. Sorry. When, when were you appointed? What, what year were you appointed? Only three months ago. Oh, okay. Mr. Yeah. Chair. Uh, yes, uh, Congressman Flores. Do, do you have staff with you, uh, present with you? Yes. Can you ask them if they were there longer than you? Yeah. Maybe they know? Yes. Um, the question is who lowered the age uh, for um, a foreigner to be uh, qualified to get that visa? Uh, in 19, 1993, uh, Your Honor, it was lowered from 40 years old to 35 years old to a board resolution. Oh, the board? Board, yes. Yeah. Okay, see, that was in 1993. Yes, sir, 1993. Right. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay. Thank you. Chairman. Uh, yes, uh, Congressman uh, Fernandez. Okay, Congressman lang, Mr. Chairman. Uh, kanina, I was asking the, you know, the uh, SEC, can you kindly confirm yung pag-transfer ng stocks? Uh, SEC, please. Uh, based on the records, uh, based on the JS for years 2002 and 2003, Wait, wait. May confusion. 2023, uh, 2022 rather. And 2020. Wait, I'm asking is the Yata Industrial Park Incorporated ni transfer yung kay Eddie Young from Eddie Young to uh, Bernice Young noong July 4, 2023. Is this accurate? Um, To give a context, Mr. Chair, uh, the corporations do not uh, we do not require corporations to report every transfer of shares between shareholders, but we require them to reflect the names of the shareholders annually. The so, GIS. In the GIS. So for year 2003, uh, the name of Eddie Young does not appear anymore as a shareholder. Instead. 2003? Uh, uh, 2020. 2020. 2023. Uh, okay. Not 2003. Kasi. It was created 2017. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, go ahead. Uh, and the name of Bernice Yang Tan appeared as a shareholder in 2020. 2020? So, three. Three. Okay. And oh. 2024. All right. So, in other words, uh, wala kang requirements to update the, no, the, uh, the change of the stocks. Uh, we required them Sakolish. to report them in the GIS that they file annually. But as to the yeah, yes. actual transfer... Walang um, yes. So, walang time element. Basta at the end of the year, dun yun lang nire-require sa GIS to ano. Okay. Alright, anyway. Ah, sa... Ano ang tawag dito? Sa PSA? I was asking kanina yung Ria Luisa Bigay. So, do you have any... Kasi, sis, ano naman kayo? Automated kayo ah. So, have you found out any anything about Maria Luisa Bigay? Uh, we have a positive record of okay. uh, Maria Luisa. Bigay. So, uh, ano siya? Uh, updated yung kanyang ano? Was she able to to get a uh, a uh, pag-secure sa inyo ng birth certificate or something? Just uh, recently or something? Ganun? Meron ba? Wala. Let me, let me check um, uh, your honor. Uh, Henry Bigay, you have a sibling, no? With the, uh, with the, you know, the second wife. But with your, but with your mother, you have a sibling. I'm not sure. Because you have not seen your mother. 
No? Yes. Your mother is still young, 47 years old. Andito kasi yung kanyang ano eh. Yung kanyang uh, birthday, oh, uh, May 26, 1977. And uh, I think, no, no, not 47. Age at the time of, of your birth, she was 32 years old. So most likely, mga 60, 64. 64 na siya ngayon. Ayan. Siguro, this will uh, give uh, a shed of light. Kung we can invite also the uh, mother of uh, and uh, according sa birth certificate dito rin siya nakatira at meron kang kapatid sa mother mo you, you don't know that I don't know because yung birth certificate mo wala rin yung tatay mo eh unknown Apo, I think hindi po kasi pwede ilagay pag hindi po sila kasal pero hindi nilagay niya din yung pangalan ng tatay mo pag hindi po ata kasal bawal po ata ilagay niya Bawal ilagay? Parang po. Hindi ko, medyo legal eh. Hindi naman bawal. Takot. Siguro kasi hindi kasal yung tatay mo sa kanya eh. Di ba? Pero may kapatid ka sa kanya eh. Sa kay Luis Abigay. And hindi mo hinahanap yung kapatid mo sa nanay mo? Hindi naman po kasi ako lumaki sa kanya. So wala rin po akong... Are you aware that uh, she's still alive or somewhere else? In Oroqueta, Santa Cruz, Maynila? No po. Hindi mo siya ba hinahanap doon sa... address ng 2216 Oroqueta, Santa Cruz, Manila Malapit ka ba sa Oroqueta? Or you're not living in the area of uh, Ermita anymore? Hindi na po ako nakatara sa area Okay, I just wanted you to know that this is the address of your mother Thank you po. And you have a brother sa kanya Okay? Thank you po. 